So in this video, we are going to learn how to shatter objects in UE5. So we are going to use self fracture with chaos rigid body physics. Now for this video, I wanted to do something different. So in this video, we are going to use Rodin. So Rodin is a pretty cool service. It allows you to generate 3D models with images. So we are going to generate a simple vase. So this is a vase image that I found. So once your image is uploaded, you can generate. And there we go. So we have our vase. Looks pretty good. So Rodin has extracted some prompts from our image. But the main thing I wanted to show you here is a feature which is pretty cool. So they've added control net. So for example, if you wanted to make this vase a bit taller, right? Control net allows you to do that. So here we are going to create a bounding box. And here we are going to increase the height of this box. So we have a taller box now. And once you have your bounding box set up, you can redo this. And as you can see, we have a taller version of the same vase. So this is pretty cool. So I actually like the previous one. So I'm going to redo again with the previous settings. Now let's finalize with the model first. And then let's move on to the texturing part. So you can choose your polygons and finalize with your model. So the model is done. You can take a look at this. The wireframe looks pretty good. So after this, we can move on to the materials. So here you have some PBR options. The default settings mostly work fine. So I'm going to use the same image to extract our materials. So our materials are looking really good. So let's finalize with the material. So these are the download options. You can download OBJ or FPX. USG and we have multiple formats here. We also have the SGL format. So SGL is used for 3D printing. And this is the mini version of the 3D printed vase. So now let's get back to the download options. So I'm going to download this with 4K textures and PBR materials. After you download this, you can import this in Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started with the chaos physics. So I'm going to go to the fracture mode. This is where we define the self fracture settings and we need to create a new geometry collection. After that, you can choose how you want to fracture your object. So you can fracture based on clusters. You have some planar and radial fracture options as well. So I'm going to use the cluster fracture option. Here you can define settings like the number of clusters. Here you can also define the material which is applied to the interior faces. So I'm going to set my material. You can also define the noise settings. The default settings work fine for the most part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fracture this now. And you'll notice that you have two different levels now. So level one has the whole object and level two has around 80 objects. So you can visualize this using the explode option. So this is basically the visualization for the breakup of your mesh. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to exit out of the fracture mode. Right here, make sure that you disable the bone colors. And I'm going to move this object on the Z axis. Here, I'm going to change this from play mode to the simulation mode.
and we have our object breaking into different pieces but as you can see some parts are like grouping up together right so this is based on the damage and uh, the force that's applied so this is like how clustering works so right here i'm going to turn off clustering and you can define really complicated rules for this how your object is going to break And as you can see, the whole object shatters once it's in contact with the floor. So this is how you get started with chaos physics and chaos rigid body simulations. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.